Today is the 28th of October, 2013. This is a litter of seven standard poodles. They were born on the 15th of October. They are out of our AKC registered solid brown standard poodle cows and our AKC registered silver Moyen standard, standard poodle Tavon. Tavon is about 40 pounds. Uh, I would say that Kells is probably about 50 pounds. Uh, both, like I said, standard poodles. Uh, so both parents are AKC registered. And in this litter we have, uh, I believe, um, four girls and three boys. And of course we have four chocolate marls. Now they have not opened their eyes quite yet. They turn two weeks old tomorrow. This is just their first video debut. Wanted to kind of give a live shot of these puppies. They're growing very, very quickly. Uh, gaining weight. Mom is doing quite well with them. And uh, I'll introduce them to you one by one. Okay, this is our little girl. She is a chocolate Merle. And she is the one with the pink collar and the one that we call Bon Bon. Now, of course, these are ID names only. Um, most names do get changed by the families. Now, we did remove the dew claws and the tails have been docked on this litter. Okay, I love her face. It's almost like she's got eyeliner on her eyes, if you can see her face. Again, these are chocolate marls. Sometimes the lighting can be deceiving here in our nursery. Okay, so there is Bon Bon. All right, and here is her sister, the one we call Muffin. She's a very big girl. She's a, one of the two biggest. She and her sister Kiki, I believe, are the two biggest in the litter, even bigger than their brothers. Okay, so there is Muffin's face. Once again, a chocolate Merle. There are her markings. Some of the markings seem to be becoming a little bit louder the older that they're getting. Um, and showing up a lot more. Okay, now here's one of our black. Now, uh, they, I've noticed, um, let's see, somebody had a white abstract. Yep, there it is. Whoops, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Okay, this is the one, uh, the light uh, blue boy that we call Bucky. Let's see if I can gently, it's hard to do this with one hand, turn him over so you can see his white abstract on his chest. There it is. <laughs> I love abstracts. I just, I, I, I don't know what it is. I, I just love the markings. And I believe he's got a white toe. So he is, he does appear black now, but it very possibly uh, because his dad is silver. Um, and his mom, she is a solid brown, but most browns as she has have kind of faded uh, as they've gotten older. So she's more of a dark cafe a la. Okay, so there's a good chance he may silver a bit as he gets older. So I wouldn't call these uh, solid black or will stay black puppies. They very well may silver. And we'll see as time goes on, it may start showing up in their faces as they get a little bit older in the litter. Okay, so we'll watch them closely. Um, this is our one black girl, and she's got a little bit of a brown tint to her coat, which indicates to me that she's likely going to silver. I don't see an abstract on her chest. Okay, and she is the one that we call Arabella. Okay. One of the three solids in this litter. So there is Arabella. Whoops. All right, here's our one Merle boy. We only have one Merle boy. All right, and he's the one we call Motley. Made me think of a name of a dog that we had that was a mixed breed um, accident that we adopted when we were children. And uh, that was the name my mom came up, although we didn't stick with it. We ended up naming him Charlie. But he was marked uh, similar to this with Merle. Who knows what he had in him? He was, like I said, um, just a, a mutt, if you will, um, that uh, we adopted, and Mom thought that was uh, kind of funny, his markings on him, so she named him Motley initially, but then we ended up renaming him Charlie. But anyway, in memory of him, I thought that that would be a cute name for our one little moral boy. Again, ID names only.
so they likely he will be renamed who knows maybe somebody will name him Charlie yep okay so there is our little Motley and there's his face and let's see here's our other black boy again one that may silver one of our I'll have to go back on our Merle's one of them's got a white abstract too I believe okay and this is the one that we call Hudson he doesn't have any abstract on him that I can see so he's pretty solid all right and then here is our last girl this seems to be the favorite of all um, probably because her markings are so loud uh, with regard to the merling and this is the one we call Kiki there's her face whoops she's still half asleep so she can roll over yeah she can roll over so this is Kiki again their eyes have not opened up yet um, expect that here in the next couple of days or so just about as they hit two two and a half weeks is when their eyes start peeping open okay so there is Kiki Again, a chocolate merle. All right, now let's see if I can find the one that had the white abstract. It may have been our boy. Yep, a little white abstract there. You see there? Okay, that's Motley's chest. I don't think any of our other girls had the white markings. Let's see. No, well, wait a minute. There's Bon Bon. I might have seen one under your chest here or is that just nope that's just the hair just her little calic on her chest is all that is okay all right so again uh, no losses no DOAs in this litter our beautiful Kells did an awesome job and this is her third litter only her second litter with us she's been with us a couple of years um, after she joined us we skipped a couple of her cycles she just wasn't timed well for us and then we had a beautiful litter of solid brown standard poodles with our beloved Hollister who is now up for adoption as we retire him from our program he was actually born here uh, they had a beautiful litter of solid standard poodles last year and once again we rested her a heat and then uh, we had this beautiful litter with our um, little boy, Tavon. Again, Tavon is not a mini. He's too big for a mini, but he is a smaller standard, and he is a silver merle. He is pictured on our website. Our website is uh, Law Padoodle Kennel, www.lawpdoodle, kennel, K-E-N-N-E-L, dot com. Uh, we are located uh, in Lost Creek, West Virginia. And uh, we are two hours south of Pittsburgh, four hours west of Washington, Baltimore. Um, we do have these puppies advertised at a price that is limited AKC registration. Um, those papers will be provided upon proof of spay neuter. If you'd like to discuss breeding options, full registration, please do get in touch with us. Our phone number is 304-745-5878, or you can email us. Uh, which actually is the easiest way to get a hold of me. I've always got my email on the run, even through, whether it's through my iPad or my iPhone. Um, but I usually email is much easier to track me down, and it is lpdk10608 at gmail.com. So thank you very much. We look forward to updating uh, further videos as these puppies start to waddle around here in a few days. They change so rapidly. Um, and uh, once again, they'll be two weeks old tomorrow. So they're just one day shy of two weeks. Thank you for viewing our puppies and may God bless you.